Jesus is coming soon. We're living in the last of days. And this story is of Dylan and his friend, Angel. I met Dylan three years ago on a Call of Duty server, and we became really good friends. And I started sharing the gospel to him. And we started hanging out and reading the word together. And Dylan said he wanted to give his life to Jesus Christ. God can use any situation for his glory. God is trying to reach anyone and everyone who has ears to hear and eyes to see. Today is the day of salvation. God is not willing anyone should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So many people try to become cleaned before they get washed. So many people say, no, but I have to quit this before I come to God. Come as you are and allow God to clean you. Everyone who is a disciple of Jesus Christ has authority in Christ to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them, training them up in the Lord, and sharing the good news to every creature. We are called to spread the gospel. We are called to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. The audio this day wasn't working properly, but that didn't stop a beautiful day and God's spirit being poured on Dylan. Matthew 28, 18 through 20. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And look, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Jesus is coming soon. Are you spreading the gospel? Are you letting people know that we can have hope of eternal life? This life is short, nothing but a vapor. In the book of John, John 3, verse 3, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Have you obeyed the words of God? Are you born again of water and of spirit? Acts 5.32 And we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. What is your response to the gospel, the good news that Christ died and was buried and resurrected on the third day? Acts 2.38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about three thousand souls. Dylan's friend Angel came with him to support him in this baptism. And I asked if he could record, and he was willing to do so. And as he was recording, and he witnessed the baptism of his friend Dylan, he felt the power of God on that seashore. That day. Hey, share what you were uh, saying and God touched you when you were holding the camera. Man, you know, just being from a distance, I could really feel like, like it was so powerful. You know, the, the feeling, the energy, and the love was all there. And I was, you know, I'm shaking. Like, Amen. I felt it like all over my body, you know, and I'm at a distance. And Amen, bro. That's a good feeling. Hallelujah. Good feeling. Hallelujah. And he told me, I want to get baptized next. He was baptized the next week.
bury his old man underneath that water. And what's so amazing about that is the one holding the camera right now got baptized last week and he felt the power of God. He felt the power of God when he was holding the camera and seeing someone obey the words of scripture. So now today, God has brought him and he said, when you come back from your trip, Colton, I'm ready. So here we are in this beautiful area right now to go get baptized in Jesus' name. Because we trust in you, the promise of God. Angel, are you ready to die to yourself underneath this water? Yes. And from this day forward, live for Christ? Amen. And now I baptize you, Angel, in the only saving name under heaven, Acts 2.38, the name of Jesus Christ! God being fulfilled. Acts 2.38. Repentance is granted by God and then obedience to the word of God. Acts 5.32 says that God gives the Holy Spirit to those who obey him. And such a beautiful day today. Perfect weather. And I just, I glorify the Lord. This is what we're called to do. We're called to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. And the name is Jesus Christ. He's coming soon. We're living in the last hour generation, but God is doing the work. God inside of his people is doing the work and there needs to be a cry heard from heaven because man, the Antichrist is trying to push against all the media, all the platforms, but I'm here as a child of the Lord, a servant of the Lord, decreasing as he increases to spread the good news and that you can go make disciples all around the world, wherever you are, and don't let the enemy lie to you and say that you are not able to because guess what? Matthew 28, 18 says that all power, all authority, in heaven and on earth was given unto Jesus. Go therefore and baptize. He's given us authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. So we pray and we thank God today. For today someone has entered and translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. And he said afterwards off camera, he goes, wow dude, I wanna put someone else on. I wanna, I wanna tell someone else about the gospel. And that's because God's spirit lives in them now. And, and God's spirit is to, that not anyone should perish, but that's a, that everyone should repent and come into the faith of Jesus Christ. God bless you all, in Jesus' name. No matter how old you are, 
how young you are. You can go and work for the Lord. You can go and disciple. You can go and be a light in this dark world. Because how long do we have? Time is so short. I don't know the day nor hour. None of us do. But we are to be doing the will of the Father. We are to be being fishers of men and to spread the love of Christ Jesus and his finished work at the cross. It's time to rise up, warriors of Christ. It's time to run this race strong by the grace of God. We don't have a lot of time, but the time that God allows us to have, we must use wisely. Being like the five wise virgins, not the foolish, ready to give an account for our faith at all times. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Are you born again? Dylan was born again. Angel was born again. The harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. Rise up, kingdom warriors. There's a lot of work to be done, but by the grace of God, he will give us power to overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. God bless you all, and with much love, may wisdom and God's Spirit be multiplied unto you in the name of Jesus Christ.